Oh, hi. Didn't see you come in. Or, wait, yeah, you already did come in because you're already recording. So, we're doing a part two. Well, I don't know, part two or video two? Video two. Video two of strange things that we have found in the dollar store, plus including with taxes. Oh, should I cover my eyes before? Okay, so item number one. Okay. Favor surprises. It's supposed to be like one of those weird whistle things there. Oh, it looks like it. No like. No like. I don't know, are you supposed to flex this thing or something? Mm, whatever it is, I don't think it works over at the shoot. So I'll have to trash it. Okay, so item number two. Oh my god, you cannot see me. Apparently I can see you. And this was at the dollar store? Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's only funny they got a, they only got like not even a handful, they only got four action figures that come in these sizes and whatnot. I don't know, but if it, some kid was big in the WWE, then sure go ahead and let him keep it, but in my opinion, trash it. So item number three. A uh, flying chicken, or chicken fling, that's what it's called. Hey, Doug, you want to play fetch? I think I probably know how to use one of these. <laughs> Directions. Insert thumb into chicken fling's head. Then two, grab feet with other hand and pull back. Do not overstretch. Aim, release, and watch it fly. How can you tell if you're going to overstretch it or not? Until maybe like the first one snaps right in your face? I figure it out. I got it. What the heck? Oh, secondary wrapping there. So apparently, so I put finger into its head, which it had been gutted like a fish, not a chicken. I pulled back, I guess, like that. Well, that sucked. Didn't go anywhere. Fly. I let go of it with my other hand. The one I'm pulling on with the feet. There we go. Go get it. Apparently it went behind the... Uh... Okay, well. It's interesting. And how much did you pay for it? Like exactly a dollar? Well, it flies. You just got to make sure you have to let go instead of using your opposite hand that's holding it in place so i say it's a keep it okay so item number four that hurt my finger actually it's a cat toy is it cat toy that's literally what it says on it Effective clippers. There we go. I thought that was like tin or something at first, so it's supposed to be a mouse inside a ball, and I think it's supposed to be like any other cat toy that's supposed to play with it. Well, we'll come back to you once we get my grumpy kitty in the mood to play with the little mousy here. So, item number five. I am not putting that on. Yes, you are. I am not putting yes, this on. Are. Already got a mustache and a beard growing, all right? I don't need no phony glasses. Careful, 
Yes, you do that. You embarrass yourself for once. Okay, I just want to say it does. Dog doesn't like that. Don't like it? What's up? You already went and broke it? <laughs> oh, give it back. Okay, so it definitely does not fit my head. <laughs> well, it does not. <laughs> it's probably meant for like five year olds, maybe. Deny it. Scamper. Deny it. Okay. Yeah, I can do that myself, see? Item number six. <laughs> A guitar. Doesn't say anything on the back either, then just says guitar on the front. I think I probably sound better playing Rock Band or old Guitar Hero from PlayStation 2 than actually trying to play guitar itself because I'd never had the training for it. Wow, that is utterly freaking. I really don't know what to say. Why, you don't like Scamper? That sucks. <laughs> Where did, did you have to pick this out? Out of everything else. I don't know. Should I just break it already? No? Too violent? Okay. Oh, well. I threw it on the floor, so scrap it. It's not... Uh, item number seven. An emoji straw. Apparently it's called Fun Straw instead of Emoji Straw. <laughs> Fucking stinks. It smells like burnt rubber. Here, you take a sniff yourself and see what you think. I don't know. Definitely for something for kids that would probably have more enjoyment than an adult myself. So, either than that, I say probably keep it. Item number eight. An Iron Man statue. Or, not exactly a statue, but a little figure statue anyways. It does not have arms. That's what it says. Mm. I think I found out for the use of it. It's a paperweight, apparently. That's not heavy enough to be a paperweight. During my time in high school, the only thing I used for paperweights was actually my binder than anything else. Doesn't even weigh like an ounce or whatnot. Well, it seems to sit fairly flat. Well, I guess if it works, it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't know. But if you're into, you know, Avengers and you like Iron Man, then go ahead, collect one of these. So, keep it. Would you buy it? My opinion, not really. Alright, so that's video one of uh, the strange items that my girlfriend collected from the dollar store. Hopefully you enjoyed it and leave a comment and on what else we could probably try to look for and, you know, all that jazz. And don't forget to subscribe if you feel like it. Seriously, if you feel like it, it doesn't matter to me.